there are rumors, and these are rumors, but in today's world of Disney, we'll take anything that we can get, right? I mean, these aren't times to be picky, if, if, if I'm being totally honest. These are times where you got to take whatever comes your way. So there are rumors, and I'm going to just say loose rumors, that there could be a second cantina coming to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. How could this be? Well, if you think about it, there's a lot of things that indicate that maybe this rumor has just a grain of truth behind it. So today we're gonna look at the rumor, we're gonna look at everything that would make this rumor possible, and then we're gonna debate. Is this something that's gonna happen? Is this something that we would want to happen? And I think your answer is, if you've been to Oga's Cantina, you would like more of that. And if you've ever been told you can't get into Oga's Cantina, you definitely are saying, I would like a whole lot more of that. So let's look into these rumors. So this is where the rumor has come from. So Tales from the Galaxy's Edge is a new VR game. Later on this year, I believe, is, is the release date. And with the VR headset in, you can obviously play games and do different challenges, but it also gives you the ability to free roll around Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And one of the things that has been released is that there is a second cantina in this game that takes place in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which that got me thinking, all right, if there's a second cantina in the game and we were gonna potentially get a restaurant, then maybe maybe there's more than storytelling going on here. Maybe this is something that could actually happen. A new cantina at the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Where would this be located? This is a early crude map that I found from uh, someone online where you can see this is before we knew that Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge Rise of the Resistance was going to be the name. People were still calling it Battle Escape. But as you can see over here, there was this purple little lot that was going to be a potential sit-down restaurant. Now, Oga's Cantina is that circular image that's protruding out of it, but that big square behind it, that's where we thought we were going to get our sit-down restaurant. Now, the sit-down restaurant would have sit right in that empty spot. Once again, you can see Oga's Cantina is the big circle dome on the far right of your screen. How about an arrow? Would an arrow help you understand what I'm talking about? You need an arrow, you want an arrow, I'll give you an arrow. So as you can see with that arrow there, it's pointing out that there's obviously a big hole sitting in the back of Galaxy's Edge. If you think about how Disney designs things, a restaurant would have fit in there perfectly. Now we all know with everything going on in the world, Disney's budgets aren't what they used to be. And there's a strong rumor that this restaurant is getting moved over to Walt Disney World to be inside of the new Star Wars hotel that's coming. So the idea that makes me think that this could be possible is if Disney was looking to use this space, use this space on the cheap, and to be able to service more people on something that's pretty profitable, then a new cantina sounds realistic. This is what the canceled restaurant was gonna look like. This was something that I was very excited to see, and they'd never officially said that it wasn't happening, we just never heard them talk about it anymore. Kind of the way that it goes sometimes. Why I wish this would have happened is because it looks like it was very entertainment focused. So here we see Oga's Cantina in this circular building. Now we know that there's a spot behind there. This is what originally was intended to go there. So as you can see, this is the layout, uh, uh, very much of a sit down restaurant, tables in the, the center corridor, booths all around the edge, uh, the tapestries that we've come to love from Galaxy's Edge, and then over to the left, uh, a performance space for a band to come in. I really, really wish this would have happened because Oga's Cantina does feel like you're going into Star Wars as a story, but going into a sit down restaurant with servers that are playing the part and actually having a dedicated spot where you could sit and see everything that's going on around you, maybe a couple of characters coming and going and a band, that would be amazing. So as you can see, this is that stage area that would have been over to the left in our previous shot. Over there on the left, this is what the stage would be like if we were sitting in one of those sort of cabaret tables. I don't know exactly if this was part of the restaurant, but this concept art that was released from ABC when they did a special talking about Galaxy's Edge, uh, it just kind of gives an idea of the pageantry, some showmanship that I think we all agree Galaxy's Edge is a little bit light on show. And that's something that seems to many of us as an easy fix. 
You see all of the, the detail and design that, that we love about Galaxy's Edge, the tapestries and the light fixtures. If you walk through where the shops are, the light fixtures are such an amazing part of it. I love this shot of, you know, kind of maybe coming into the lounge, what that could look like. This was scrap from Oga's Cantina. We all know the bar that we got. This was something that they were thinking about doing above the bar where this uh, animatronic would be inside of a fish tank and, and swim around. This aquarium idea, they weren't able to, to pull off. It would have been fantastic if they could have. This is something that we'll just keep our fingers crossed that makes its way to Walt Disney World. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is artwork that ABC showed when they were talking about Galaxy's Edge, when they were teasing everything. This character that we see, this barkeep, this isn't Oga's cantina that he's inside of. This is a different sort of bar that oddly has windows facing out. Now the windows are a huge tell for what could possibly happen. If it's upstairs, that would be very interesting. But in that spot, you could definitely put a restaurant in, in that courtyard that's open. Uh, you could put something that's above it and the reason why I think the cantina would be realistic is if it's sitting right next to Oga's Cantina, they could split services. The kitchen for Oga's Cantina is behind it. If this restaurant is either above it or adjacent to it, they could share the same kitchen. Fun fact, a certain club that we shall not name shares its kitchen with Blue Value that sits directly below it. So this is something that we've seen happen in the resort around Disneyland several times. We also see that this is a bit smaller, a bit more intimate. I do love that there's somebody who's passed out at the bar. That's a nice touch. But we can also see the signature light fixtures of Galaxy's Edge. The bar does look closer. So we can see that bar behind the barkeep looks pretty familiar to Oga's Cantina. And if we click up closer, we get to see this interesting sort of character that would fit into the galaxy's edge don't know that anybody could wear that as a mask per se uh, but it does have a good animatronic feeling there so this is concept art from the video game showing us what the cantina looks like another reason why i think that this is possible is this design is pretty modest and if they wanted to use that space build something to essentially add more legend to galaxy's edge add more characters to galaxy's edge but ultimately double the footprint of Oga's cantina because a bar is going to be more profitable than a restaurant because the drinks are pretty expensive but you also get people to come in and out every 45 minutes whereas a sit-down restaurant you might have people in there for an hour plus So you can see this is a pretty modest design. This might even be something that they would build out for a while knowing that maybe it doesn't stay forever, but it's a good way to double our footprint in the short term and to bring up revenue for the Galaxy's Edge. Now, this image looks like a real polished up image of the one that ABC showed earlier. So it made me think when ILM Lab was building the game, did they say, hey, what do you have sitting around from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge that you didn't use, maybe we can incorporate that into our game. And something that's interesting is this new cantina, when you see images from it, it looks like it's always in a spaceport. There's lots of cargo around it. Concept art where you look out the window definitely looks like it's elevated, that it's up high, which kind of, I think, are tells on where it could be located. I was thinking, Maybe they're saying that it could be in this spot right here because, you know, we can't get into there. There's that big empty spot behind it, but I don't think that that would make sense. Even though there is a doorway right there that you could step into, there is that doorway that would make it possible to go into a cantina uh, and that would allow it to share amenities with, with Oga's Cantina. But I don't know, the more I investigated and I started seeing those cargo boxes, I started to think maybe, just maybe there was a different location planned. I think that this second potential, potential, 
cantina could be about where I'm standing. Which would be cool to have it located inside of the spaceport. If this is the view that we're supposed to see from the proposed cantina, then that would mean that it needs to be on the right side of Oga's cantina and not the left side down the merchant's row where the shops are. Being on the right side would give you this view. Also, if it is on a second floor, it would make sense because this area is very vertical, very tall, and they do sometimes use the lower area of where the restaurant might go for overflow of people that are trying to ride Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. So there is a chance they would keep the bottom, maybe set, dress it a little bit for overflow and build this cantina on a second floor, which would be cool because if you've ever been to, you know, a London or a New York City or a downtown San Francisco, a DC, you're constantly going into businesses on the first floor, businesses on the second floor. That would really add a very cool dynamic. They've taken chances in Galaxy's Edge with putting in stairs, uh, grading the land. They're willing to take accessibility challenges in this land. So who knows? Maybe they wouldn't be scared to go second floor, even though it does create a lot of uh, realistic headaches and nightmares. It, for Galaxy's Edge to feel fully like a little colony, these are efficient settlers that are using scraps to, to build various parts of their community. There's no way they would have just stopped at one floor. And a lot of the buildings allude to there being, you know, apartments or homes or, or huts on second floors. So taking this up a floor would be amazing. Obviously, it does create some challenges, but maybe there's a way where they have this where it would be tethered into the smugglers run building uh, there at the end. Maybe there is an infrastructure that we're not aware of where they could do double duty. I believe this area in here, one of these three portals could easily be how we're going to get into this cantina. If they keep the two back doors for guest overflow and use a regular size door like they did for Ogus Cantina, then maybe it, it could go up above. Or maybe they would reroute it I don't know. I don't think that you're going to see those two big doors center in our screen as the way you get into the cantina because that would mess with the overflow of Smuggler's Run. So it's probably one of these ports over here to our right. I started to think about this. And once again, what is what is laid out in front of us in this location? Cargo boxes, cargo containers. It has the view. It has sort of the, the decorative pieces. And I'm, I'm feeling... Like this could be something. So as we go in here and we explore more. I mean, right now that's a single door. I believe there's maybe like a, a, a break room or something cast member on the other side of that. They could easily blow that out into a much larger door to let, you know, guest flow come in and out. I mean, Ogus Cantina's doorway isn't massive. So now as we go a little bit deeper into this area, you can see there's a second doorway and then there's one of these like radiator props. You know, we now know from looking at the overhead slide, there's just a big opening in this area. So to go through here and knock one of these out could create a guest flow into a secondary cantina. And if it's in this spot, then it literally would be right behind Oga's. Oga's kitchen is in the back. It would make it very easy for them to share amenities. Here's one of these radiator things. There's actually two of these. There's this one in this back corridor. And right when you come in the resistance area, if you were coming in from Big Thunder, there's one right on your left. And they kind of rattle and make this interesting little hum, like a radiator if you've ever lived in a high rise that sort of squeals when it's steaming up the water. Um, it kind of has that vibe to it as well. this gets over to the side the other side of that vault is smugglers run so now we're this is what we might see if we were coming out of the new cantina door we could possibly see guest in line and we could see this sort of vault like hatch on the other side interesting one of the concept art pieces very similar vault type vibe there so we're looking at that empty spot 
right where the arrow is pointing. So literally we're standing on the other side of that sort of khaki type building where the arrow's at. We're standing right inside of there. So the kitchen could be right there in the back of Oga's. So we, we, have, we have a footprint here. All right, so let's watch this. This is the video that sort of showed everybody what the game would look like and that got the OC register and various other news outlets going, is there a second cantina coming to Galaxy's Edge eventually? So th this area in here, this kind of concept artwork, this looks similar to the area that we were just in in the Galaxy's Edge. It would be so cool in this game to be able to walk beyond the Galaxy's Edge, right? To be able to go beyond the perimeter that we know. Because after all, the backstory that we've heard is this is a settlement. It's the biggest settlement in the, the planet, the Black Spire Outpost, where all of the uh, locals come from the different regions. If we could walk out of one of those three main entryways we have in Disneyland, two in Walt Disney World, and go into the actual uh, forest of Batu or see where these people come from, see the smaller villages. Dude, I I think I need to get a headset. I think I need to go an Oculus. Matching the look and feel of Galaxy's Edge is our main goal. We even brought over some of the artists and assets from Smuggler's Run to make sure that we were maintaining a consistent visual style. That's key, right? That if you're making a, a game to have the same people that did the software design for Smuggler's Run would make it all feel uh, that it's from the same digital template. I think that that is very, very crucial. We're working together to bring the story to life. When you get onto Bar 2, you end up in Cecil Slack's Cantina with a new face you've never seen before. Cecil Slack's Cantina. Cecil Slack is the, uh, the the bartender or the guy that, that owns the place. This is more in depth of the concept art that I showed you inside. As you can see, it has sort of a Millennium Falcon um, hallway type vibe to it. Uh, it is not the craziest build out in the world. So this does, I think it seems possible. Cecil Slack, the cantina's bartender, was a little rough around the edges and he was the same rate. Do you guys see what I see? See what I see? Do you see an animatronic? I need a cantina with an animatronic bartender. That's all I want. And the park to open back up. Face as the six size character that was first seen in the solo movie. I play Cecil Slack. He's a little kooky, and it, maybe being alone and not having a lot of customers has affected him. He enjoys his life. He's got a bit of a belly. He samples a little too much of his own goods. He has very few patrons, but he takes some pride in his cantina. He, when he sees a spot, he wants to wipe it up. I mean, if you think about the way that Doc Ondor works as the shopkeep, that could very well be done in a cantina area. They would create a barricade so you couldn't get it up to them and touch them. I don't think that they would put them inside of a cage because that would ruin it. But just imagine if like he was mixing drinks behind human bartenders that you could interact with. I think there would be a layering way um, to, to do that for sure. There, he'll tell you stories, and he really gives you a gateway into the world of Galaxy's Edge. He's just the guy that's like, hey, did you see that ship out there? It's a Millennium Falcon, can you believe that? Like, it's right there. Bobby Monahan is the dude. You know how many stories that ship has? Yeah, you ever heard about that ship? Pretty famous. Improvised a bunch of Star Wars references, and like, oh, I can't believe they're dating, and like, just stuff like that. Well, those two got together? <laughs> Not gonna last long. We really wanted to open up what you could do in this experience compared to some of the other things that we've done. So we have some really fun things in there, just like listening to a jukebox. We've got some versions of space darts that you can play. Fans are gonna love this because being able to just walk around with these characters and experience their world and you become part of it. And I think that's the number one thing of being a Star Wars fan is you, is you want to be part of it. It's a very different experience than being an audience because you really become a character within the story. There's so many fun things. So that is part of the view that people were talking about that would place where we're at on the other side of the spaceport. You're gonna to get to do in Tales from the Galaxy's Edge as a Star Wars fan. You're gonna to get to go out into the wilds of Batu and explore. You get to fire blasters. You get to fight Guavian death pirates. And you get to hang out with forks. And there's some appearances from some really iconic Star Wars characters. 
Ten-year-old me would be bowing down at my feet that I get to bring these characters. Iconic Star Wars characters that ten-year-old me would be excited to see. That guy is in my age bracket. Therefore, he's telling us that there's somebody from the original trilogy in his. Can't wait for fans to dive in there and just fully immerse yourself. It's a new, fun way to get lost in the Star Wars universe. No, I just can't wait to play it. So there you go. That's what they released. That got the rumors going about a potential new cantina. They really created a fully fleshed out land. Um, they put a lot of backstory into it. So uh, I do believe that that was a big part of their idea was let's make this thing so big that it can um, really live on in supplementary or, or complementary media. And I would love, love to see them shoot just like a scene of the Mandalorian in Galaxy's Edge. By the way, if there's ever a time they needed an empty Galaxy's Edge to film a scene of the Mandalorian, um, now's the time. I wanted to dig in deep to these rumors. I wanted to dig in deep and see, okay, people are saying some stuff. Can we tie this all together with the designer's eye and say, is this possible? I do feel that it's very possible to be built, to be carried off. Do I think that it'll happen anytime fast? No, I don't think this will be anything we'll see in the next couple of years. But I do think if the game is a hit or people really enjoy it or, or people fall in love with this concept, that there is room for the Galaxy's Edge to mature and to continue to evolve. And this is just kind of a fun exercise of the brain to say, okay, what could go in these spots? And I think that this is something that could fit there.